Hey guys, we're here in beautiful Aurelia, which are about an hour and a half north of Toronto GTA area uh, during non-rush hour. If you're going to the cottage on a Friday night, uh, rush hour is probably going to take you about three hours to get up here. That's the problem. But uh, anyways, Aurelia to me is actually the gateway to uh, the Muskokas, which is cottage country as we all know. So Aurelia is a beautiful little place. We're going to go exploring Aurelia today. And they also have the Folk Festival, which we're going to go uh, see what that's all about and grab some nice Aurelia food and maybe some craft beer. But Carrie, tell us a little bit about Aurelia because these people want to know everything about Aurelia. So tell you. Aurelia is a population 30,000. Aurelia's going to be louder. Aurelia has a population of 30,500 people, home to Gordon Lightfoot. And you know who Gordon Lightfoot is? I do. No, you're a liar. <laughs> He's my best friend. Okay, That's go right. on. Sorry, I interrupted. I'm you so rude. You did interrupt me. That was very rude of you. Rude. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Casino Rama, which is one of the biggest employers in Aurelia. Yeah, and the OPP head, uh, head office headquarters for Ontario, I believe, is here in Aurelia. And training facility. Training facility. There's, uh, I've already seen a couple of OPP officers. We're going to get arrested today, so we better be good boys and girls. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, so just to demographics, uh, it's Lake Kuchiching is right behind us here. Kuchiching, I can never say that right. We're here in the marina. Okay, and just south is Lake Simcoe, so it's actually pretty cool because it really just sits in between the two big lakes, so. Okay. Okay, let's go explore Aurelia. Guys, yeah, listen, we're with Matthew here. I saw his guitar, like it says, need money for uh, beer and weed. I gave him a toonie, I'm going to give him another toonie. Because he's going to go buy himself a beer, you know. You need to buy your friend a beer, right? So, Matt, there you go, man. Make sure you drink a good beer, okay? Absolutely, yeah, I will. How long have you been playing here for? Uh, 16 years, uh, uh, but at this spot, four, five days. Uh, five days, there you go. But you're doing good, though. You're a great artist, man. Thank you. Hey, play me some more music here. Okay. Daddy worked like a mule in Quad County Coal. And he fucked up his back and he couldn't work anymore. It's rocking. These days I want you. Now you only have four strings on your guitar. What happened here? I broke them. Okay. Well, hopefully you're gonna have to use some of this beer money to get some strings. Absolutely, I will. <laughs> hey, it was nice meeting you, my friend. Good Bless job. You. Hey, have a good weekend, man. Absolutely. Bless you. Uh, talk to you. Hey, everybody. We're here with Lisa, one of the volunteers here for the Mariposa Folk Festival. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Very good. Okay. So now, Lisa, I, we, a lot of these people who are watching this video, yes. first and foremost, don't know what the Mariposa Folk Festival is about. So now, being a volunteer, you should probably know quite a bit. We're going to talk about what's happening here downtown in Aurelia. Lisa, fill us in, please. Well, the Mariposa Folk Festival is basically the grand folk festival of all of Canada. Incredible acts and in downtown Aurelia we are lucky enough to have an official stage so we introduce all kinds of festival goers to downtown Aurelia and our 150 shops and 20 restaurants and we just it's a great opportunity to explore a small town charm. And so yeah so the main festival which has roughly how many people going to see that? Uh, can upwards of 50,000 people show up to that festival and yeah. in here obviously we're a, we're an official stage. Yeah okay so so the, the mayor pose the festival there's two segments to it you have your main festival which is like a big concert and then here in downtown Aurelia it's more like uh, open the stores the businesses are open they also have the folk music we have restaurants open patios are open so it's more of a, a community festival here including the folk music obviously yes actually it's uh it serves more as a hub of the community and uh, we have uh, lots of locals and tourists alike and they're welcome and it's a free opportunity to enjoy the folk music here in our beautiful downtown yeah and that's what we're all about we're introducing these little villages to all of you to come visit for a day trip it really has been awesome so far the marina is gorgeous and now we're going to take a tour of downtown here grab some lunch soon and uh, do you recommend a good place to go eat well we have a ton of uh great restaurants downtown it depends on what you're after we've got brewery bay uh mariposa market if you're looking for something small rustica finn mccool's and uh studebaker's down on the water is also excellent too. okay so we've got a lot of places to choose to eat so that's great Great. So let's go eat and thank you so much thank for you. enjoy downtown Aurelia oh, and enjoy yeah. your stay. Oh, thank you so much.
Arnie, I had to stop her because that band you just saw was totally hyped and great. Like, I'm sweating. That's how hot they are. So, oh, my God. So, Marnie, what's the name of your band? Uh, we're VK and Legends of the Deep. Okay, but now, first of all, how long have you guys been singing for? Uh, my husband, Steve, and I, VK, we've been performing now for about uh, 10 years. And Legends of the Deep is a band that joined us about a year and a half ago and um, helped us release our last album. And then they just helped us put together and record our, our most recent album that launched yesterday called Charm. Okay. Thank yeah, you. congrats. Now listen, uh, the folk music, was that considered, because obviously a lot of people are new to folk music, yeah. was that considered, because that sounded a little rockish to me. Well, so the Mariposa Folk Festival does a fantastic job of really um, combining multi-genres. Um, there's a lot of folk undertones, a lot of roots undertones. Our music, um, we do have some folk type music. This last album, which we played a lot of songs from, is more uh, folk rock. Um, and country rock, so so uh, there's a wide genre of music that you'll hear downtown on this stage and as well out at the festival. On the main stage. Okay, well that's awesome. Well, you know something, well, hopefully so you're going to be on the main stage? We are not on the main stage, but you can catch us tomorrow um, at the festival. We're going to be on the Barnfield stage and then we're also going to be in the Mariposa pub tent. Tomorrow night, we're shutting the festival down with a late night show. Uh, that's where all the partying happens, and uh, we're going to celebrate this new album and rock it out. Okay, awesome. Well, just before it starts raining, thank you so much for talking to us. And uh, yeah, so we've got to go see her now. Yeah, so we're going to go dance. Come check out VK and Legends of the Deep at yeah. the festival ground. Let's go sweat some more. Okay, guys, we're here at the Brewery Bay Food Company, and uh, it's right here, downtown Aurelia. You can hear the music in the background the folk music. We're here on the patio and I'm having the Muskoka Detour. Uh, it's a local beer, actually, well, not local to Muskoka, but local, I mean, not local to Aurelia, but local to Muskoka. Right. Kerry, did you order something to drink yet? I did. I ordered a vodka raspberry lemonade. Oh my god. That's delicious. I like it. I'm not trying. Thanks. She's not a beer drinker. I don't like beer. So we're going to have lunch here on this beautiful patio, listen to some folk music here in downtown Aurelia. We haven't figured out what we want yet because there's like 46 <laughs> pages to this, so we're going to go through it with a fine tooth comb very soon, okay? Thank you so much. Very nice. We'll let you know what we're going to eat soon. Okay, so the food has arrived and we are at, I'm, I've gone totally original with this one. We're going chicken fingers with fries. Gary's having goat cheese salad with chicken, cranberries, and candied pecans. Every time Carrie eats something, it's very exotic. With me, I'm just like simple. You're sandwich boring. fries. You're boring. Sandwich. Not simple, boring. Chicken fries. Carrie has always these freaky deaky salads. Why Anyways, let's see. Them? Okay, Carrie, I just went to the little boys' room mm -hmm. and uh, it's absolutely stunning inside. They have like two sides to it. They have a bar side and they have the lounge, uh, the, the dinner side or lunch side. The restaurant side is a really cool place. Mm -hmm. uh, the Brewery Bay Company here in Aurelia, downtown on Main Street. Come and check out. The food looks great. You Very like good. the food? Yeah? yeah. You like it's the rabbit food? She like the rabbit food, like usual. Always. Anyways, guys, the chicken was good too. So, and obviously, not sort of local, but just up the street, Muskoka Brewery. Lemonade. Yeah, cheers. Oh, cheers. Mm -hmm. Off to our next location. Hey guys, we're with Jillian here at the Mariposa Market. Jillian, this place is incredible. Oh, glad you like it. God, I haven't seen a bakery like this like ever in my entire life. Like you guys have everything. Yeah, it's really cool. You can do orders of all kinds. Uh, we've got coffee. We've got build your own sandwiches, pizzas. Yeah, you got like jams, and I bet you a lot of local products here. Yeah, a lot of local products. All of our jams are from a Mennonite community just in the area, um, and everything else is made in store. Now you're telling me a little bit about the history of this place. So this was what until what until what now? Yeah, so in 1911, I believe George Vick opened his general store here, and then it was a furniture store for a while, and uh, now it's a bakery, cafe, um, restaurant. Yeah, this place is cool. You have to come and check out the Mariposa Market when you're in Aurelia. You will not leave here without a bag full of goodies, that's for sure. I'm telling you now, now we're going to have an espresso. 
And Carrie, you're going to have something, I don't know what, but uh, maybe something cold, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to have a double shot of espresso, and uh, Jillian here is going to make an extra special, extra Italian, because espresso is from Italy, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so she's actually going to sing Italian music while she's making it, okay? Uh, so we want to hear you singing, okay? Like Ti Amo or... When the moon hits your eyes. Yeah, when the moon hits your eyes, like a big pizza of espressos, they had some more, right? Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have this espresso. Okay, so what we've gathered here so far about downtown Aurelia is that everybody's totally amazing. Every place we go to, every person we speak to, they're so nice. You can tell they're so relaxed because they're close to cottage country, I guess, where everybody's relaxed. But anyways, we're going to keep walking around here. Love the old history, historic buildings. Like usual, I usually say that when we go to these little villages, but everybody's got their own little charm, these little villages. Charm, Carrie. Carrie, yes. anything you want to say today? Just like the commercial, I'm loving it. We're at the Sir Sam Steele building. It's a museum, okay? It's a beautiful museum, and uh, unfortunately some cameras are not in there, so we're not gonna go in. But we did hear about like some prison cells that somebody's not gonna go let us look at that's from like really like old prison cells, because this used to be a, a police station. You sure you're not gonna let us in? She's not gonna let us in. See, somebody would. She was in the prison cells. Yeah, let's see. I want to record it, but they won't let me down there. You know, sometimes when you go to these little videos, we want to try to get the coolest things for you guys to see, but <sighs> next time, guys. Sorry. No ghosts today. Hey, so we had a lot of fun here in Aurelia, and uh, you know, we're gonna call it uh, towards the end of the video now. I think we had quite a bit of experience here in Aurelia. Uh, we did want to go see those police cells, damn it. They're closed uh, today. You know, something, things like that really interest me and Carrie, and I know it would interest you to see old police cells and, and go look for ghosts and stuff like that, <laughs> but that didn't happen today. But anyways, uh, yeah, so it was a great time here in Aurelia. The great food, yeah. great folk music. We didn't get too much into the folk festival because that's that's like a little bit away and uh, you have to buy tickets, you have to buy tickets and Carrie and I, we, you know, we don't have any money so we're not going to go, <laughs> uh, but uh, it was a great time though guys, uh, so come visit Aurelia anytime, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell for notifications because if you do that you're going to see every video from now to September and then you have a chance of winning a free barn door valued at between $1,500 to $2,000 and a family photo shoot with Carrie Mae Sampaio. See? And this poor guy wants to, he's going to run us over. Anyways, guys, have yourselves a great day. Okay? We'll be back next week. I don't know where we're going next. We should probably really study our locations. <laughs> Talk You're to you soon. Postcard. Take two. Because Carrie thinks we need more energy. Maybe a Red Bull. And stop calling everybody guys, because there's women watching. No, there's no women watching. Yes, there is. Are you a woman? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, service, <laughs> service animal. Carrie doesn't want to record anymore. Is that true? Everybody wants to talk to us. Everybody's talking. Rosie, everybody wants to see Rosie. <laughs> We're gonna bring Rosie one day. We're on the shores. We're on the shores. Of Lake Kuchiching. Of Kuchiching. Lakefront in Aurelia. That's a hard name to say. Kuchiching. Kuchiching. It's like Kuchi Kuchi Ku. Kuchiching. Can we start recording some stuff now, Carrie? Jesus. <laughs>